Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 312. Find all good indexes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. What I think about this poem is I, I need a reading thing. So, uh, so honestly, uh, this, this is kind of painful because I ate a five minute penalty and, you know, some debugging time for it. Um, and the reason is because I just misread this. Or maybe I read it correctly, but I think I. I mentally misunderstood it as that I count the index I. Um, that's mostly it. And I don't, I almost wish that they had one example where that's not the case because then that would have saved me five minutes. But, but yeah, I just kind of included I in the case. Anyway, that's kind of the, the minor postmortem. And what I mean by that would be me explaining this problem a little bit. So the idea here is that, well, first of all, N is 10 to the fifth, right? And K is big enough that if you do a naive solution, it's going to be n squared. And n squared, also obviously, it's going to be too slow. So then the idea is, is there a way to take advantage of... Um, is there a way to kind of, you know, take advantage of, of you know, operations that you've done before? And if that so this sounds familiar, it, it should be, because this is just dynamic programming. Um, of, there are a couple of ways you can phrase this, uh, for example, but, and there are a couple of ways you can maybe do, um, you know, there are a couple of ways you can maybe do this, to be honest, but the way, this is the way that I did it, right? Um, first of all, I, I um, and you could, and you should watch how I solved this in the beginning anyway, uh, because I think, you know, sometimes some of these things, um, you allow yourself to abstract, you know, do abstraction that are helpful and um, not to, you know, brag or anything. This is not what I mean, but but you do notice, uh, and I hope that is illustrative how I kind of be like, okay, instead of writing this code twice, I just have wrap a function around it and use it. That's basically what I have here. And what I have here is a non-decreasing array. And basically the idea is that looking through this array, Looking through this array, what I want to do is um, just basically going, okay, what is the streak that I have here of a non-increasing, right? So zero, um, this is going to be zero. You could say maybe it's a one, uh, including itself, but, you know, it's fine uh, as long as you're consistent. Uh, four and, oh, wait, non -de yeah, non-decreasing, and then this is a zero again, right? So that's basically the idea here. And... And, and of course, you're going to have the, uh, the opposite going the other way. And that's why I wrote it this way. Um, and I think this code is pretty straightforward, just keeping the streak. Um, the logic is the harder part, which we'll go over in a second. But yeah, but the, the, um, the increasing one is also just the backwards, you know. Um, you know. And this is non-increasing going to the left, where non-decreasing is going to the right, right? So we have zero. Um, hmm. One, zero, 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 one, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I didn't format that right because I had to do it backwards, right? So give me a second. Right, so that's for this one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I, oh wait, this is non-increasing, sorry. So this is wrong, oops, sorry friends. Um, I forgot that is, you know, in, uh, ties goes that way. But anyway, the idea here is that, okay, well, you know, the, another way of phrasing that there's a K non-increasing order in, in adjacent is just that it is what it is, right? Which is that, let's say we're looking at this index, then again, K is equal to two. All we're asking is, is this non-decreasing? Well, this is non-decreasing if, you you know, if everything in between is exactly um it, it has a streak going, right? Because basically what this is saying is, what, what is this three mean? This means this three means that three numbers to the left, it is not increasing, right? So you can do some math and just answer that way because like, okay, well, if this is three, then, um, then, then that means that we go to the left, this is a zero, and this zero is, go is going to be bigger than one, etc. right? So basically, you're just answering these queries in constant time instead. And that's what they're not decreasing or non-decreasing and non-increasing to the, you know, this is to the right. 
is this to the left and that's pretty much it really once you're able to kind of visualize this i know that i didn't really necessarily you know step through this one uh, uh everything because i trust you're smart enough to do it at home but I hope that this is enough visualization to kind of uh, let you see the math this way. And you could do the math in a couple of ways, um, actually, to be honest, uh, meaning that what I said before, where you go, okay, you go, okay, to the right, you know, it, it said that it's not decreasing three space to the left. Now you can, you know, do some if statements on the index on that way. Uh, another way of, of saying it is the way that I have it here, which is that, okay, if, um, if, um, this segment is non decreasing that means that the that means that the streak from here minus the streak from the the uh the other one will have to be exactly k minus one you can also practice uh by visualizing this at home um and just draw it out not, i'm not even kidding i mean you know that's basically what i do as well when i'm trying to visualize it and my head isn't just good enough so yeah um and if these conditions are met and there are a couple of ways to write it, like I said, so definitely experiment with that. Then we append the answer, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is linear time, linear space, and we called it twice. Uh, and this is linear time, linear space, or k space, where k is output sensitive or something like that. But either way, this is going to be linear space in the worst case. So yeah, so this is all linear time, linear space, and that's pretty much all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve a live in the contest next. Uh, one more thing though is that you know once you get the foundation, uh, yeah, I know. Once you get the foundation right, it's very easy to fix. So what I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I said that I made a mistake and I actually included the number, uh, the index in the the query, which is why I ate the five minute penalty, which is kind of sad to be honest. Um, but yeah, but now. You know, it's just a minor adjustment to kind of fix it as long as you have a full understanding of what you're trying to do. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. Maybe well. Okay. I wasn't sure about that one because that's such a tricky, weird problem. Okay. <clears throat> Increasingly, and decreasingly. Not increasing. K is two. Okay, so then we see two, and then let's do that again. And three. Hmm. Non decrease and non decrease. It's kind of silly, but non decreasing. Zero or one, I don't know. Depends on how they do. This, but maybe it's not. 
times uh, should be this times n. Okay, so then here, so the streak is mm, it's not quite what I want. Because then here you want to do 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 do. Oh no, you just look to the right, right? So that's fine. Uh, okay. of i minus k minus 9 increasing of i is equal to k mm. maybe wrong on this one a little bit yolo oh oof. huh maybe off by one i don't know Uh, maybe I should slow down this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, because this is no wait. So one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. So to the left. Wait, it doesn't include the number i. That's why. Oh. Hmm. I misunderstood this a little bit. So. K elements that are before, right? So here we want these five. Well, this is four, so we want. Okay, so this minus this is good. okay, but what we want is actually this minus. Hmm. Okay, I think I misunderstood. In I thought it included the number. How do I fix it so that it doesn't? Okay, well. I mean, I think that's just fine. Then this is just this plus one. Du, 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 du. I misunderstood this one a little bit, I think. Oops. Yeah, okay. Come on, please. Okay. Yeah, I misunderstood that one a little bit. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, and everything, uh, you know, on this thing. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.